Welcome to another box break brought to you by Canada Card World. Uh, today we've decided to crack a case of UFC Knockout from Tops and see what the fuss is all about. This is apparently Tops' first high end release of a UFC product. Most of their other ones have been fairly popular. This one should be loaded with some goodies. Each box is supposed to have eight packs. And it says we have one autographed or memorabilia card in every mini box, two autographed card, two autographed relics, two autographs, and four relic cards per box. So that's a hobby only product. And there's the little mini boxes. So let's get cracking and see what we've got. As mentioned, this has been touted as Top's first uh, high-end release for UFC. The first few series, I think the first two series were, they really took off in value. And round four, which was out recently, was a little less popular, but still a nice break. I've got a Court McGee debut. He was in one of the Ultimate Fighter series. John Bones Jones, Ricardo Almeida, and our oh nice, our first relic auto card, Leota Machida, former champion, beaten recently by Shogun Hua, number to one eighty eight. So that's a nice Machida autograph, and Leonard Garcia. That's pack one. That's nice. Mashita is actually my favorite fighter. That's a great way to start this break off. Right. So two holds for us. Seth Petrozelli. Marcus Davis. UFC debut, debut of Carlos Vamola and BJ Penn Fight Matt Relic. Looks like a single there and it's numbered to 188. And Vitor Belfour numbered to 288. Vitor just took that big kick in the mouth from Anderson Silva this past weekend. Move on to uh, move on to pack number three. Oh, we can get into it. Jeez. And we're still not in it. <laughs> That's the hardest piece of plastic I've ever had to get into. On to pack number three. Here we've got Tyson Griffin, UFC debut of Mark Holst, Brian Bowles, bantamweight from the WEC, and we have fighter gear relics of Dan Hardy, number 188, it's like a single, and Pat Berry, number 288. We've got two relics and one auto so far. Ugh. These boxes are not easy to get into. I think it's that design. Trying to give the octagon feel to a box. Not easy to get into though. Note for tops in the future. So here we've got UFC debut of Travis Brown, Aliota Mishida, Ricardo Almeida again. This one's numbered to 288, 188. And a Claude Patrick autograph. This looks like his first autograph for a UFC trading series, and it's numbered to 188. 
and a Marco Ruas, numbered 288. <clears throat> so we're halfway through. So I'd say the Machida is the best hit. With the 10 flight mat, number two. We've got Christoph Sosinski, Kurt Pellegrino, Ben Rothwell, and a Randy Couture fighter gear relic, numbered to 188, and a Yoshi. Hiro Akiyama, number 88. Sexy Yama, I believe is his nickname. And the Couture. Does it say exactly what it came from? It doesn't say, it just says fighter gear. So I'm not sure if that's from a shorts or shirt or glove. Next up, we've got John Hathaway, Helen Belcher, Jim Miller. Next up, we've got number to 288, Brock Lesnar, Fight Mat. Number to 288, just a single again. Former heavyweight champion. And Ricardo Almeida again, number to 88. Ricardo all made everywhere in this box. Two packs left. I've got Brian Stan, Ben Saunders, Tiago Taveras, number 188, and a Forrest Griffin. Nice. That's hard signed. Number to 99. Everybody loves Forrest Griffin. Nice auto. Awesome. And an Evan Dunham, number to 288. And our final pack. We've got Mike Rousseau, Dan Hardy, Chris Lieben, number 188, and oh, nice, an auto relic of Matt Hughes, number 188, and finally Josh Bryant, UFC debut, number 288. So there you have it. There's Topps UFC Knockout. Nice little product. Topps first high-end offering. And some nice hits in here. We got a Matt Hughes Auto. A Forrest Griffin Hard Signed. And also a Leota Mishida. So you can visit us at CanadaCardWorld.com and you can also check for Daily Hobby updates at CanadaCardWorldBlog.com